I want to show you how you can easily use Power BI to connect data in Dynamics GP to make nice looking dashboards with your GP data. So I'm going to start in the Power BI desktop. Here I'm going to connect to my data and I'm going to put together the elements of the dashboard that I'll then deploy up to Power BI. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is get data. If I click on get data here, there are a number of sources that are available. I'm going to use a SQL Server. I'm going to connect to my SQL Server database. From this point, I can select the tables or the views that I want to use for my dashboard data. I'm going to use a SQL query that's already part of the system. This is a query. It's part of the regular system, so I'm going to select that. I'm just going to bring in all those different fields. You can pick and choose the fields that you want. I'm just going to pick them all. So it's successfully connected to it. I'm just going to load this up. I'm going to load this up to my Power BI site. I could actually have a direct query if I wanted to, but I'm going to import it up there so the data is up in Power BI. Just click OK. Now it's loaded all my data up to Power BI. And you can see the fields listed here on the right. Let's move this over a little bit. So let's do some simple ones here. I'm just going to pull in the customer name. Then I'll pull over extended price, put that in the same area. So I've got a list now, and I've got different ways to look at that information. You can see these over here. So if I click on a graph, it'll turn this information into a graph. I can make it bigger if I want to. But now I can add some additional elements on the same page. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add another graph to my dashboard here. I'm going to use extended price again. Pull that over here. And let's take a look at that by item. Let's scroll down and take the item. Let's pull over the item description. So what I can do now is I can format the graph to add some color if I want to. I can also limit the data that's in that particular graph. So let's take a look at a, another dashboard that I recently did. We'll see how we can do that. So this is a dashboard I did previously. I used the same query to pull in the data, but what I did, I was able to filter down to the data that I wanted. So here I've got four graphs that look at the same data, but in different ways. So you can see I've got total sales by item, sales by customer, I've got sales by website, and sales by brand. Now this is all standard GP data. I use the price level to indicate the website from which these items are being sold, and I just use the item class to show the brand here. But let's take a closer look at this. If I select one of these here, down here, I've got all the attributes about this particular graph. You can see the fields that's pulling in. And what I did is I put some filters in here. I have a number of classes in my data. I just selected the ones that I wanted on my particular graph here. So I did that. Also, I can change the way it looks. I can change the graph style just by clicking on these visualizations here. But I can also go into specific elements of those graphs, and I can change the, the color, for example. Here, I've changed the data colors. And I've changed it based on the website that I'm showing. I can change the style and the color and the size of the text in here as well. So what I did is I went through each one of these graphs and made it look just the way that I want it to. Now what's nice about this is that this data is all interrelated. So as soon as I pull these elements onto a graph, onto a particular page in Power BI, they're all connected. So I've got four graphs here. And if I for example, if I select um, this brand here, it's going to change all the other graphs to reflect the fact that I'm just looking at one particular brand. And you can see how the other graphs all change. So now I've got my dashboard, and I'm ready to publish it up to Power BI. So all I need to do is hit Publish, and it'll go up to my Power BI site. When the dashboard comes up to Power BI, it's in a report format. Here's the report. What's nice about this, I can take different elements and push it up into a dashboard. I can do that by clicking on the pin live, or I go to individual items and pin them to a particular dashboard. So let's just make a new dashboard here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the entire sheet here up to that new dashboard. We can take a look at it. So this is a dashboard that you can now distribute. It still has the functionality, the graphs are all interrelated. Again, I can click on a particular brand, and all the graphs will change for that. So this is an easy way to use Power BI to get data from Dynamics GP, put it quickly together into a chart, 
then put those charts together into a dashboard and distribute that dashboard through Power BI. 